What's up, everybody? Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Memorial Day here from Odd Shopper. I'm Ben Razza. We're going to put a bet on the board to get this holiday started. It is absolutely pouring. I hope the weather is better by you. But regardless, we are here. We are ready. We've got a board full of bets. Let's pick one and put it on the board. I want to welcome to Odd Shopper all things betting. From the picks, to the analysis, to the tools, to the process. Take a look around this channel. See what type of content we have. If you like what you see, we're right here for you. Subscribe to this very channel. Yesterday, we were back in the NBA streets. Got what I wanted, honestly, with the Wolves. They were in that game. The Mavs are just too tough down the stretch. Credit to Kyrie. Credit to Luka. Uh, maybe the Timberwolves are out of gas. Who really knows? Towns could not buy a three. So we take the L. Going to happen. We move to 17-9 and nine in May. Still way above where we wanted to be. We're very, very happy with that. But we have a couple days left. No reason to try to bleed units away. Let's try to put a win on the board right now. Uh, obviously, I mentioned these tools, this process, these Parlay builder, the pick them, the picks and the content. It's all here under the same umbrella of Odd Chopper. If you have not seen these things in action, check it out, man. I'm telling you, it is a great time with NBA and MLB and NHL all going on at the same time. The board is full of bets. The Discord is flying, and it's here for you. Check link below, all in one package. You can come in for a week if you want to just test it out. We love to see people in there, a lot of new faces. If you have any questions, always let me know. But let's put a bet on the board. I'll check in on the live odds screen because we're going not to the game where the Celtics are probably going to end it, but we're going to, if you, if you watch this video every day, it's appreciated. You also kind of know where I'm going because this is a, this is an Edmonton oiler chat until further notice. I like this team. I've been pretty adamant that I think that they have everything to go all the way. One, one did their job back on home ice. Uh, and it is kind of a macro play. And what I mean by that is, I think this is going to be a series that probably goes pretty deep. And I think Edmonton will have success at home. They're four and two in the playoffs at home. They split in Dallas. So they won three, two and double overtime in a wild game. And they lost three, one in game two. That was kind of a, a bonus game. Uh, it was close empty netter. That's what you're going to get. It's hard to beat the stars twice on their ice. Uh, what I thought was fascinating was in the double OT game, stars had no penalties. So the oil weren't even really able to, to lean on their best weapon, which is their power play. But you know what might be their second best weapon? The penalty kill. Unbelievable in the playoffs. They've killed off 92% of opponent power plays. 41 of 44. Outstanding work by the Oilers. When you have the advantage on, you know, odd man rushes and things of that, or special teams, I guess you could call it, it it's so key. Because if they, I mean, they killed off a four-minute Right at the start of overtime in game one, McDavid uh, got a guy in the face. It's such a key component of how they operate. And I really do think that's going to continue to translate. Certainly on their penalty kill, you don't want them to be out there a lot. And then if they can draw some penalties, which I think they will at home, they're still the most deadly unit. Dry Settle had a quiet game too. That's a blip on the radar. McDavid, uh, you know, it, it, maybe he's not at the height of his powers right now, but they've got so many other guys that we can rattle off. The goaltending has been serviceable. Uh, Dallas is a good team. There's no doubt about it. You got a five and a half goal total, slightly just the over. That's fine. Minus 130 on this money line. Very simple, very standard for me, very clean. I like the oil to win the game. Not messing around. If you want to leverage it up, you can get almost two to one on a, on a puck line. You know, again, is that playable? I'd have to dig in more. For me, minus 130 was the number. I like this. We'll see if it moves, if we get some closing line value. But for me, I, would, I didn't want to mess around. Expect the oil to take the 2-1 lead, hopefully with special teams leading the way. But either way, at home, they will be ready to roll tonight. So there we have it. Edmonton carrying us on Memorial Day. If you have any questions at all, as I mentioned, Jazz Raz, DFS on Twitter. I'll be on there, obviously, updating people about the picks, plays, news from Odd Chopper. We have so much going on day in and day out from deals to new tools to, to feedback. We want to build what people want. So if you have any suggestions, if you say, you know, I, I checked out the site and I wish you had this, let us know. We're all about that. But in the meantime, let's just celebrate the Edmonton oil tonight. Thanks again, everyone. Obviously, most importantly today, everyone enjoy yourselves. Enjoy the holiday. Uh, stay safe and have fun. And we'll start a new week tomorrow for me. The Dallas Stars and for the Edmonton Oilers. Good luck. Enjoy the day. Talk to you tomorrow.